Do you own a GY6 engine? Maybe it's in a buggy, maybe it's in a scooter, maybe it's in a little ATV or one of those little motorcycles. As long as you have a 125 or a 150cc engine to start, GY6 engine, this video will apply. This will not apply to the 50cc engines. The parts are completely different, the engines are different. The information will remain the same, just the parts won't carry over. I'm gonna put a link down in the description to goes in depth on what engine you actually have. Very important that you know that, but these are things that you need to figure out before ordering any parts. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about choosing the correct big bore kit for your GY6 engine. What am I even talking about? Is the eBay and Amazon kits equal to the rest? Do you choose a flat top or a dome piston? Do you choose a forged or a cast piston? What are the benefits of, of each one? Do you do a big valve head or do you reuse your stock head? What cam to choose? And things that you should look out for. I personally have seen forge kits and I've received forge kits that aren't actually forged. And I'm gonna show you how to tell the difference. Let's do it right now. I laid out a few GY6 kits so I can educate you on exactly what to look for and how to choose your big board kit. So if you could, do a spinning freaking backflip on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the little blue bell that's right on the side so you can get notified when new videos come out. Let's get started. Let's first talk about the 171cc big board kit. This seems to be the most popular since it's the cheapest and easiest to install. This is our Pro Build 61mm 171cc kit. That's our brand. This is a generic kit that we got on eBay. And it's also 61 millimeters. What makes this kit different? Well, there's a lot, but we're gonna go over drop-in. Is this kit a drop-in kit? What do I mean by that? When you install a 171cc kit, you want it to be drop-in. Otherwise, why wouldn't you just go larger? What I mean is this kit does not drop into your engine cases. You'll need to bore your engine cases to get it to fit. This kit, our kit, the Pro Build kit, is a drop-in kit. They visually look exactly the same, but they're not. Let me show you exactly what I mean. And there's more going on with this I'll cover in just a sec. Here I have a GY6 engine with the top end removed. Let me show you what I mean, and it doesn't fit. So here is our eBay kit. I'm gonna slide this cylinder on. Imagine if there was a piston on here. I'm just showing you for fitment right now. And if I try to slide this cylinder into the cases, so as you can see, it will not fit. And that defeats the purpose of a 171cc kit. Now here's our Pro Build kit. This is a drop-in 171cc. So I'm just gonna slide that in. If you notice, it easily slides into place. You still got a little bit of room, wiggle room, up and down. It easily slides into place. In short, if you're doing a 171cc big bore kit, you want it to be drop-in. You don't want to have to bore out these engine cases. That kind of defeats the purpose. A 171cc big bore kit, drop-in big bore kit, is as big as you can go without modifying your engine cases. If you wanted to do a non-drop-in 171cc, you'll need to split your cases, open them up, Take the crankshaft out, reattach it, and attach your boring tool to cut it. Or you can buy engine cases that are pre-bored. Where I'm going with this is, if you're gonna do a 171cc big, big bore kit and it's not a drop-in, if you have to do those modifications, you might as well go a 190cc, a 205, something like that. Just for reference, if you're trying to bore your engine cases, this carries over to if you're doing a non-drop-in 171cc, or a 63 millimeter kit, which we'll go over in a second, you'll need to remove the crankshaft, the timing chain tensioner, and the timing chain, and bolt the cases back together, and then you've got this boring tool. So you, it's shaped just like the, as if you were putting a cylinder on. So this bolts right to the cylinder, or the engine cases, and then you attach a drill to the back here, and then your drill spins, and then you go in, and there goes your engine cases. That's how you bore the engine cases. We've got these tools on the website along with our cylinder kits, of course, or there's one other option. So that's option one, bore the engine cases out, or you can just do brand new engine cases. 
that are pre-bored. So let's grab our eBay kit. Now it drops in just fine. Keep in mind, this one's drilled out for 63 millimeters, so we can do a heck of a lot more than the non-drop-in 171. See where I'm going with that? Why do the 171 cc kit if we can go on a larger displacement? Now let's get back to the differences between our drop-in 171 cc pro build big bore kit and our eBay 171 cc kit. What are the differences? You already know that this guy is drop-in and this guy is not, but what else? If you notice, the pro build kit has a piston already in it. You don't see any rings laying around and the eBay kit has the piston out of it, the ring sitting there. What does that mean for you? Most kits on the market will require you to remove your piston rings. There's five of them. Install them into the cylinder. Get some feeler gauges. Measure the ring end gap. I have a whole video for that. If it's wrong, you'll need a file to file it down. Once they're correct, you install them onto the piston. This is a lot of extra labor and liability on your end. With the Pro Build Kit, the piston ring end gaps have been measured, installed on the piston, and the piston installed into the cylinder. This gives you the ability to slide your piston down just far enough so that you can get the piston pin onto the crankshaft rod without removing the piston out of the cylinder. This is like luxury service, ladies and gentlemen. But wait, there's more. Our 61 millimeter Pro Build Big Bore kits come with two base gaskets. And the eBay kit comes with one. What does that mean? We supply a thin base gasket and a thicker base gasket. Basically a standard and a high compression base gasket. So if you're gonna raise your compression up, you're gonna use the thinner base gasket. Just another option we throw in the mix. There's just a little bit more to learn, so let me go over this. This is a kit that we purchased on eBay as well, 61 millimeter, just like the Pro Build kit over here. And unfortunately, this one wasn't drop in either. If you notice, this piston has a dome to it, and the Pro Build piston is flat. Why would we do a dome? The dome is gonna raise the compression up. So that's gonna give you more low end torque when you have higher compression, which is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because the more compression you have, you're not gonna be able to rev the engine as high. So there is a balance. The Pro Build kit is flat and then we use a high compression base gasket. This gives us the benefits of the dome piston while keeping a flat top piston and having the high RPM. We also pair this with a different camshaft. I'll go into that in just a minute. And finally, we've got our rolling wrench cast piston. And then we've got our Pro Build. This is our one up brand. Rolling wrench is us, of course, and so is Pro Build. But Pro Build is going to be the one up of rolling wrench products. We're basically competing with ourselves here. Pro Build has a forged piston. Both these kits are great. It's just the question, what are your needs? So let's go over cast piston versus forged piston. Cast pistons are really good for high mileage, but not as good for performance. Forged pistons are great for performance, not as good for high mileage. Cast pistons can be mass produced. You'll find them in almost every OEM machine on the planet. Motorcycles, ATVs, cars, everything uses cast pistons, very, very common. Forged pistons are found in high-end vehicles, Lamborghini, Ferrari, race cars, things like that. Cast pistons are made with molten aluminum alloy poured into a mold. Forged pistons are pretty sweet because they take a billet aluminum slug, heat that sucker up, take the press, heat that up, and they press it down to 500 tons to make this mold. But that, then you have to come back in with a CNC machine and cut all the reliefs and the, everything out. So it's gonna be a lot more labor intensive. That's why the cast piston is cheaper than the forge piston. And there are two types of forge pistons. There's the 2618 and the 4032. Let me explain the difference. On any piston, you're, when an, a piston is cold, it's not expanded yet to operating temperature, you're gonna get something called piston slap. That's not good for the engine. 
it wears it out. On a cast piston, there's not a lot of piston slap because there's not a lot of expansion. When you build a piston, you figure when it's cold and when it expands. When it expands, that's the operating temperature. It's tight in the cylinder. The forge piston is super tight, but it does take some time to heat up. You literally can't break a 2618 with a hammer. It will never come apart. The 2618 forge piston is the ultimate piston that you would want, however, not for daily use. It's, when it's cold, it's a lot smaller. It takes a long time to expand to fit into the cylinder, which equals terrible everyday use. It'll burn that motor up super quick. So with the 4032, you're gonna get less piston slap, not quite as good as the cast piston, but pretty dang close. We use 4032. Gives you the best of both worlds. So you gotta be careful. Other forge kits on the market might be 2618. Ours is 4032. So you need to ask yourself, are you looking for more mileage, less performance, or more performance, less mileage? This would be my preferred piston, only because it's on a scooter and uh, you're not doing mileage like as if you would on a car. We offer both of these kits, just like I said before, they come with the same exact double gaskets, the piston rings are installed on the kit, both forged and cast, so you don't have to worry about that. Now let's go back to our eBay kit here. Does that look forged or does it look cast? It's shiny like this one. It was purchased as forged. That is a cast piston. We got taken to the cleaner. See this rough area? The sure way to tell if you have a cast or a forged piston is by looking in the back here. See how rough that is? That's a cast piston. Here's another one. Look how nice and shiny that is. Is that a cast piston or is that a forged piston? That's gonna be a cast piston. So that's something that you should be aware of if you're choosing a kit. It's really easy for people that are uneducated to get taken to the cleaner by paying for a forged kit, but you get a cast kit to make made look like a forged. Here is a forged piston. See the backside? How nice and smooth it is under there? And here is a cast piston. See how rough it is? Forged, cast. Very important for you to be educated on that. So now let's talk about the ultimate 171cc big bore kit. This is what I recommend if you're doing 171cc. So you got the forged flat top piston, comes with both gaskets, the standard gasket and the high compression gasket. I would use the high compression gasket. Oh, one thing I didn't mention earlier is our kits come with the timing chain tensioner gasket, which is very rare in big bore kits for sure. Then one thing we didn't talk about, this is our big valve cylinder head. It's got the 23 millimeter valve, stock is actually 23 millimeter on the exhaust. On the intake, we actually got a 28 millimeter valve. Stock is 27 millimeters. But the big thing comes in right here where we've got 26 millimeter ports. Stock is normally about anywhere from 23 to 25. So this really wakes it up. Not only that, it's the combustion chamber is bored out to 61 millimeters. You can run the stock cylinder head from your 150cc on the GUI 6171 no problem, but I recommend the head, of course. It all depends on your budget. Then we've got our performance camshaft. This is really good for low-end to mid-range torque. This works hand-in-hand -hand great. So remember, we did the flat top piston, not the dome piston, so that's gonna allow us to have a really high engine RPM, as if we had a dome piston, we'd have low engine RPM because it'd be too much compression. We bumped the compression up with the thinner base gasket, and we also bumped the low end torque up with our pro build cam. And this is gonna give us our low end to mid range torque with our big valve head. Now you can do the same exact kit, switch out the forged for a cast piston. But this is the kit, comes with everything you would need. Another cool little feature is you've got eight millimeter exhaust studs. Very, very important. A lot of times, other kits on the market, they have a six millimeter stud. This is actually for the intake stud here. But a lot of kits have the six millimeter exhaust stud, which are no bueno. And it's got the little Allen so you can tighten it down so you're not needing to lock two nuts together to get it tightened down. 
I feel like we thought of everything. I've been doing this for like 25 years. This is the ultimate 171cc drop-in kit. I'll list everything in the description down below. As you know, the GUI 6 drop-in 171cc big bore kit that we offer is the largest displacement you can go without modifying your engine cases. If you go larger than 61 millimeters, no matter what, doesn't matter what kit you buy, you're gonna need a case boring tool, like I showed you, or pre-drilled engine cases. This is a 63 millimeter big bore kit, 180 cc, our pro build kit. This is a 180 cc kit we got on Amazon. When you go larger than 61 millimeter, heat becomes a problem. If you notice on our kit, it's got a discoloration, it's kind of a gray color. And if you look at the Amazon kit, it's just your standard metal. This is ceramic coated. That is great for heat dissipation. This is a no bueno. You don't want to run a 63 millimeter kit or anything larger than 61 millimeter without some sort of ceramic coating. The other big thing is our Amazon kit has a cast piston. In my opinion, you never want to do that on anything larger than 61 millimeter. We always want to do forged. So this kit right here is literally a paperweight. Now things are getting freaking wild. You can do an 8.2 millimeter stroker crank on your 63 millimeter bore and now you've got 205 cc's of throbbing freaking GY6 power. It also is going to come with these uh, cylinder studs because it, you know, it's going to be longer and you've got your spacer and you've got your longer timing chain. All of that's going to come with it. If you don't like the 205 cc you can do a 2.3 millimeter stroker crank to make it a 1 90 cc. If you don't want to bore out your cases, we do have pre-bored cases. We've got the pro build black cases and then we've got the natural cases. They're pre-bored so there's no case boring. This is brand new cases made in Taiwan, the good stuff. Put it down in the link in the description. But there's even more. You want to go bigger than 205? Um, okay, let's do it. You ask for it, here you go. 67 millimeters of throbbing freaking GY6. 232 cc four valve. Look at that. Look at that sucker. Huge ports, four valves. The only thing that gets any better than that is a liquid cooled four valve 232 cc. This is the oil cooled version. The one thing to note about these huge displacements is this is a 67 millimeter bore that will definitely not fit in our standard GY6A engine cases. What is a GY6A? That's a Chinese engine. You're gonna measure your stud spacing from here to here. Chinese engines have 54 millimeters. Our cases, like these ones back here, and some rare scooters will have a 57 millimeter bore. And then you can run your 67 millimeter 232 cylinder but you will have to bore the cases. Again, our cases come pre-bored. And the cool thing about these 232s is you don't need any spacers. It's already dialed into the cylinder. It's got that big 8.2 millimeter stroker crank. It's about as big as you can go. But it does come with a price tag. So as you can see, you can get pretty dang wild with these GY6s and they're super fun to build. I'm going to link everything we talked about in the description. Don't forget to hit the little blue bell that's right on the side so you can get notified when new videos come out. I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next video.